Hey everyone, welcome back. This is episode 52. My name is Michael McCarville. So let's get to it. So we're going to scratch build some diesel service platforms. There's a mini project at the very end, so you might be interested in that as well. But that's a kind of a quick one-off project, but it's going to look really cool on the platforms. So let's talk about the materials. So we have some sidewalk material, and we're going to build something out of the channel and I-beam material from Evergreen. There is some stair material from Plastruct and then some, uh, it's essentially a mesh plate that goes on top of a covered hopper, but I cut it all up. So it doesn't look anything like that. So we're just using it for the walkway material. So um, we're gonna build two of these. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so project number one, uh, the hopper material, you can see it uncut on the left side there. That's what it looked like before I started cutting it up. So I cut those long sections. I cut the ends off, so now we just have two long sections. So that's going to be the decking. Okay, so this is a grid. If you wanted to make one on your own, you could use this. It's a half inch grid and inches are along the bottom. So it's essentially, it's going to have 12 legs on it, six on each side, stairways on the ends, and then we're going to build a box frame for the um, that walkway material to sit on top of. And that's really it. So very, very simple structure. But it's going to look very cool when we're done. Okay, once the box frame is built, gluing the legs on is, is not difficult, but it is time consuming because you got to square up every single one of them. And each of these is going to have six legs per side and we're doing two of these so it, it does take a little while to get everything squared up but just take your time it's not difficult the uh, Tammy cement allows you to have a little bit of leeway so um, I use that you could use super glue if you wanted to or just plastic cement but that Tammy cement seemed to work really well for me okay so as far as painting goes I wanted to match some of the stuff we had built in previous episodes. So episode 44, we built these sand towers and I wanted to keep them looking fairly similar. So went with silver. Uh, we had done a episode 51. One of the items in the yard uh, equipment that we were gonna add is this lubrication tank. So this has uh, been given a rust undercoating and then a silver coat and then dull coat on top of that. So we're doing essentially the same thing with these platforms. So painted a silver, didn't undercoat it with any rust or anything because they didn't want to wear anything off because I figured I would probably destroy these. Simple ru rust coat um, of chalk powder on top of that and a little bit of black powder on top of that as well just to give it a dusting, but not very much. I assume that since these were walkways, there was, these were probably going to get painted a little more often. So that's it for color. It's going to unify the scene with the other equipment that we already have. So I think this is going to turn out really well as a whole scene. Okay, so that's it for project number one. Project number two is one for adults. Kids, get your parents help with this one because uh, it involves a open flame. So it's just a candle and you're going to heat some evergreen rod material. I use 1 16th inch rod. You could go thinner if you want to, but it's going to curl up even faster. So heat it up over a candle and then go ahead and let it curl around on the piece of uh, hard, clean surface like glass. And then you can kind of press it flat as it cools. Make sure that it, when it does cool, that it has some sort of appearance like what we see here. So we just want them to look like hoses. Uh, the end, I made a 90 degree bend in it once I heated, reheated just that one end. Um, and it's just a very short little end. You can see the one on the right, it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so of a 90 degree curve. So anyway, paint them black, paint the, end, the nozzle end silver with a black dot at the end of it. So it looks like it's an open, uh, unused uh, hose that's going to be on the service platform and then 90 degrees that we're going to put onto a platform so we want it to go down into the ground somewhere either down through the you know ground cover or 
onto a uh, concrete platform or wherever you're going to place these. So, and that's it. That's all you do for this second project. It's very, very simple. So that's it. We've got two projects done. We're going to go ahead and add that to the inventory of our uh, um, steam and diesel service area. So parts list in the description, how to join the HO scale tutorials and this YouTube channel. Those links are also in the description. So please go ahead and join those and uh, give me some feedback. Let us know how we're doing and we will look for you on the next episode. Thanks you guys for joining. Have a great day.